Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game Containment Initiative. Uh, it is a zombie shooting game, one of my favorite kinds of games. The difference being, nice, I still haven't bought that 9mm pistol, but I'm saving up for an assault rifle soon, uh, uh, that it has both wave defense and free locomotion levels. So defense and survival are just wave defense. Kill 100 affected, blah, 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 blah. Kill 10 special infected, survive at least 3 minutes, and you get paltry rewards. So let's give that a try. Okay. So you start each level the same way, you grab a gun, and you get ready for action. Yeah. Unfortunately, zombies can come from in front of or behind you, and you cannot dual wield weapons. Bullets are down here. Now, does that count as a special infected? Let's find out. Uh, no, it does not. Even though she's screaming and sprinting. There we go. Yeah, if you run out of bullets, you have to do that whole thing. Instead of just like, you actually have to pull back the slide instead of, uh, just releasing the slide as I think you would in real life. Although I'm not an expert in this type of gun. I reload too much. I'd say it's a bad habit if it does help me stay alive. So where are these special effect infected? Do you just mean the giant... Oh, there he is. So that's one down. Ah! Uh, yeah, that was one. Okay. I feel like there's, yeah. Okay, that was bad. What the hell? Then I kill all the sprinting zombies. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. How many more seconds do I have to survive? Whew. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's just regular everyday zombie defense. Uh, no waves though, just a constant stream of zombies. And every now and then one of these big guys shows up and ruins your day. Come on. This is a problem. Okay, it's over. Yeah, it's all over. Okay, they they got me. This is a situation where I should have brought a better gun. Which I happen to have a better gun. We're not going to do that again. Uh, I'll just show off the scavenge mode, which I'm mildly entertained by. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting mode, which has a bit of a problem that I will show you. Boop! All right, so the idea here is you got full locomotion, you got an assault rifle, which was already primed. Uh, you have to find yellow crates and you have to bring them to the drop zone. What could be simpler? Well, the problem is when you pick up a yellow crate, so I use the thumb pad to move as you do in most games like this, right? But if you tap the thumb pad, you drop the yellow crate. So unless you're very careful to... Uh, not move, to not touch it badly while moving, you will drop the crates all the time. Uh, how many crates do I need? Uh, yellow supply crates, seven, take all crates to drop point in front, second floor, then call for extraction. Yeah, that's great, but how many? All crates? Okay, I played this last week and it has been updated since, and now I'm supposed to gather all crates on the level, not just some. Yeah, it used to say, like, uh, zero out of ten crates. And then, weirdly, you could do half the job and then come back later. So you'd be like, I'd collect four crates, and then the next time I loaded up the level, it'd be like, oh, you only need six crates now. And so on and so forth. I like the location. 
One problem in this game, it's not a big problem, it is a problem. Oh, maybe here's the limit. No, here's the limit. Uh, no, it is nine. Okay. That was just the instructions. I thought they had changed to how the whole game played. I was completely backwards on that. Hey. Uh, you can put laser sights, suppressors, and um, flashlights on your gun to affect the way you play things. There are crazy super monsters in this level, who you will get to see at some point. I hope. I'm hearing a lot of stepping around. Oh, there they are. As you can see, you make no noise. Yeah, sometimes the uh, magazines do not fall out of your assault rifle. The way they always slide cleanly. That was embarrassing. Uh, the way they always slide cleanly out of the pistols. Or at least usually. I've tried this level before and as you saw I only managed to get one crate. I killed a hundred zombies though. So you know, moral victory. Yeah, it's one thing that, um, they're not great at simulating. What is that sound coming from? That's what I mean, just a weird Nosferatu bat creature vampire. Yeah, the game is not great at positional audio. Like, you can't really use the game's sound to figure out where the zombie is. Like, all I know right now is that there seems to be a zombie groaning in my ear. But, I guess it's that guy over there? They're not good at making the zombies quieter and louder as they get closer and farther away. Of course, it's also annoying. And I think the real issue is that they're, well, they're not terrible at it. They're just not good at it. That they don't uh, judge the zombie's distance above and below you when making sounds. So if a zombie's ten feet to my left or uh, left, but on a uh, on the second floor, and I'm on the first floor, it'll make the same amount of noise as probably ten to my uh, just who's just ten feet to my left. And as you can imagine, that's a problem. See, magazines just don't want to fall out. Okay. So let's kill some zombies. Also, the game, and I don't know if this is something I'm being critical of or just acknowledging how the game works. It seems to just spawn zombies from random locations. Like, when you get past a certain uh, uh, certain distance away from any location, zombies can then appear from that location. And do! Just like from everywhere all the time. Also, I feel like the special zombies don't make enough noise just from a gameplay design standpoint. Because it is not hard for them to sneak up on me. As you can see, that guy made no sound until he was hitting me. And even if he was hitting me, he didn't really make any sound. But now you're hearing it. There's a bunch of zombies directly above me. And they're being super loud right in my ear. Hi. There we go. Anybody? Let's grab that. Nope. Yeah, as you can hear, the... Uh, that zombie insect thing makes clicking sounds. It's actually kind of upsetting. Not very. Oh, there's the other one. Hey! You are dead. No, he's dead. And now, since I've used all these bullets, I have to drop the thing. So there is some multitasking involved, is what I'm saying. But yeah, overall... Fun anti-zombie violence, decent gun handling mechanics, a couple of creepy monsters. I'm running out of bullets, aren't I? There's no way to check. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, let's just reload that. And he killed me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, obviously I should have been keeping better track of my bullets. All, the way All right, so let's find out. Uh, join me as we travel to the map I've never seen before. Um, for presumably the hardest map in the game, because it's the third mode and the third uh, option. Hi. All right, there we go. Uh, we've received intel about the location of possible sample of the virus. Blah, 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 blah. Best equipment you have. 
Yay! Night vision goggles or flashlight recommended. Okay. Uh, do I have night vision goggles? Twenty weapon crates. I guess I'll be picking up flashlight, everybody. And the worst gun in the game. I do not expect to do well. Ooh. Oh, nice. I have not seen this location before, so. All right, so you can. So all these Unity games, are they building on the same um, uh, VR in, uh, equipment framework, like inventory handling? Because these circles where items hover, I've seen in a ton of games. Okay. Is there also one behind me? Yeah. Okay, not a problem. And this was a dead end. Hey, you want to tell me what a sample of a virus actually looks like there, buddy? So wouldn't it be nice if there was like a hole the zombies were crawling out of, or a hole in the ceiling or something? Okay. Am I going to reload after every single monster? Yes. Because I only have seven bullets in this thing. Something like that. Oh no, he wasn't behind me. Ah, oh, we'll play shots, they only take three to kill. I assume he's taking headshot damage. Sadly, their heads do not explode. There's never a way to tell. Hey! This is going okay, right? You agree with me, don't you? As I kick your corpse along the floor? All right, he's behind me. And now he's dead. Always grab another magazine for your other hand. Nope. Careful, careful. Dead end? Okay, more dead ends. We got this. And I didn't reload. Oh, I did reload. Now it has more than... Let's just check. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Oh, 9, okay. So it's an 8... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah. It's got an 8, but then I get an extra bullet in there by ejecting, popping that in. So I've got 9 bullets. We're good to go. You still able to make clicking sounds after your dad or... Yeah, that means there's another one. All right, down the hallway we go. And there's one behind me. Or in front of me. He's somewhere. Oh, there he is. Whew. I really would have preferred the night vision goggles. I feel a little silly now. Doesn't seem to be anyone's ahead of me. Oh, hello. Power required? I was not told about this game. All right. So we're looking for a power substation or a switch to flip or something. Uh-oh. I didn't actually successfully reload the gun. And now I'm just failing all over the place. Well, that sucked. <laughs> oh, that one was on me. I'll just wrap this up in a regular map. Uh, so yeah, let's go find some weapon crates, huh? If I want to get those night vision goggles. Uh, city, please. Boop! And so yeah, the... I've never once used the axe for anything... Right at the start of the level, you can pick which hand you want the uh, bullets, the gun to go in and which the bullets go in, so that's nice. Uh, so yeah, so I've picked up all of the uh, yellow crates in this level, so this level's complete. So now I can just uh, look for weapon crates. And the real question is, do the weapon crates respawn? Or are there like a limited number of weapon crates? Because I know the yellow crates respawn. You can always get $75 more per weapon crate, and I think it's $1 or $2 per zombie you kill. 
Hey there. Hi there. See? Easy as pie. Then, of course, when you're carrying things, less pie easy. Uh, when I was first here, I did the uh, fun thing of... Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, throwing a bunch of crates in front of me as I walked, which is awkward to do, but it was actually pretty effective. See, the problem is um, holding something with trigger and then letting go of trigger to throw it is a completely natural feeling. So it's very easy to time and aim your throws that way. That's why so many games use this system, that system. But this game system of do the throw motion with your hand and where you want to let go of the thing, tap the button, is considerably more awkward. See, there we go. This isn't uh, in relation to anything, but bear with me. An actor appeared on two different episodes of Murder, She Wrote in a role to become a semi-regular on the show, and neither time did he get to be a semi-regular on the show. I just found that weird. Murder, She Wrote. I didn't... I left the... I just realized I left the uh, flashlight on. That's hilarious. Yeah, the uh, zombies get to what I would call nigh-overwhelming levels pretty quickly. That's why I've been forced to take multiple trips to these places. I really do have to try out the multiplayer feature of this at some point. Perhaps DM would want to get in on that. I'll talk to her. PBR Industries. So this is an Ingram, or in this case an uh, Inger. Mac 11 with shooting 45 caliber ammunition. Nice. Hey there. Yay! Well, that was just awesome. So, as you can see, it's a perfectly good zombie shooter. The scavenging levels are quite high quality. What's with those streaks in the sky? Are they saying chemtrails cause this? I think they're saying chemtrails cause this. I didn't uh, reload. Uh, but no, it's, like I said, great gun handling, satisfying zombies to shoot, even if you've seen them in a bunch of other games, which, you know, you have. They're Unity Store zombies. Not a complaint, just an acknowledgement that it's a low-budget game made by, I'm sure, a limited team. So you're going to see some zombie repetition. Uh, okay. Boom. Whoa. I don't know why you're so hesitant to die. I got the gun. I was... I met you halfway. I brought the gun. You know? You just don't want to die for some reason. Oh, whatever. I heard a screaming zombie, which means she's sprinting towards me from somewhere. Oh, there she is. So I think I might be out of gun crates. Yeah, probably. We're going to check over here just to be safe. I love that exploding head. Anyway, on that note, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more of those buttons for that coming up, let me see if I can throw this over the wall. I can't. Well, that was embarrassing. Uh, questions, suggestions, related whatnots go in the comment section below the video. See, the problem is I get confused because trying to throw it also makes me move. Maybe the grip button drops? Oh, grip button also drops it. Okay. I'm like, how did I do this? There we go. Still not, still don't have it. I didn't, at least I didn't, you know, move that time. And then I hit the roof of my building. Okay, the ceiling of my building. Apartment? Let's uh, not break your controller there, Hoguru. Anyway, I'll see you back here for more uh, VR and zombies and the like. But until then... Au revoir? I'm going with au revoir. <laughs>